let's be real, babies have blowouts and they pee everywhere. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my newborn essentials. These are things that I discovered as a new mom and things that really, really helped me with the first three months of his life. Now my son was a preemie, so things might be a tiny bit different than some other newborns, but I swear these things helped a ton. I'm actually in my son's nursery right now. He is playing on the floor, so if you hear him, I apologize. I will be sharing a few of the main main essentials, but these are going to be more like luxury type essential items that really help but aren't really like necessary. Um, but let's get right into it. One of my first essential items is bottles. I did breastfeed. Um, right off the bat, my son was not able to nurse because he was born a month early. And I swear these bottles helped him learn how to actually latch properly. These are the Avent natural bottles. And I swear they're amazing. There is two different kinds of the Avent ones. There is the natural, which is like a wider nipple. And then there's like, a, I think it's called the colic. And that's uh, this, the nipples like narrower. But I use the natural and I swear they help because in the hospital, he was surrounded syringe pad for the first week and then as soon as we got home I switched him to these and after that he was able to start like actually latching so I highly recommend these bottles they're really really good so check these ones out now this next newborn essential is one that I feel like a lot of people talk about they are sleep sacks for swaddling I use the halo ones this is not a newborn size um, this is actually the three to six month one but I have all of his newborn stuff packed away. So I was just gonna show you guys a three to six month one. But basically it's like a sack and then this part wraps around them and they feel nice and cozy. The reason I like these ones over other swaddles is because you can actually transition to swaddling with arms out. And that is what we did at two months old. So at two months we started swaddling with one arm out and then we eventually went to two and it really made the transition out of swaddles really easy. So I highly recommend the Halo ones if you're in the market for a good swaddle. If you don't want to get the Halo ones, the Swaddle Me ones are also a really good one. I wish somebody would have told me about this product, but I kind of found it on my own. Um, this is the Honest Company Body Oil. Now my son had very dry skin as a newborn, and I know most borns, newborns do because they have, they're used to being in fluid. Sorry, that's my son. And then they're adjusting to being outside of the womb. So when their skin gets dry, this really, really helps. It is just the Honest Company Body Oil. And I will link all of these products down below, but I would mix a little bit of this in with his lotion. I think any baby oil would work, but I like the Honest Company one because it's organic. And I know that they're like plant-based ingredients. So this was fabulous. Next up, I would say a noise machine is extremely essential. You can use whatever one you want. This is the one that we used. It's by the Big Red Rooster, and I just got it from Amazon. It has six settings, rain, brook, thunder, white noise, ocean, and summer night. And I don't know, no complaints, super easy. I like that it was just like sleek looking. So we just keep this next to him. Now these are kind of your main essential baby items, but obviously you're gonna need clothes. I would recommend sleepers. Okay, this one is really tiny because my son was a preemie, so it's like extra tiny, but yeah, a sleeper. This is a Granimals brand. I would actually recommend the ones that have the little mitt covers, but I could not find any preemie clothes with the mitt covers in our town, so I had to put just regular mitts on him. I would definitely say to get sleepers with a zipper and not the buttons because those are so annoying for middle of the night diaper changes, seriously so annoying and obviously onesies again really tiny because it's actually a preemie one but just basic onesies are really nice especially if you're swaddling and it's actually hot out I found this product in somebody else's YouTube video when I was pregnant and I had to get it they're the munchkin changing pad covers and basically they're just like they have waterproof backing you lay them over a changing pad cover because let's be real babies have blowouts and they pee everywhere my son was like Every time you change a diaper, you knew he was going to pee, so we would use this, and then we'd put a little uh, washcloth over him to help, like, help protect the pee from, like, going everywhere. It just kind of, like, limited it, so 
these are really great. I think it's like around eight or nine dollars for a three pack, so really cheap, and you can just wash them. My favorite baby wipes are actually water wipes for newborns, but if you don't want to use the water wipes because they know they're more pricey, I would recommend the seventh generation ones. And this is what we still use today. I love the seventh generation brand. They're really, really thick and they're really good. The water wipes, I would say, are a thinner wipe, but they're more wet than these ones. So whatever you choose, I would recommend either water wipes or these. This next product is a little bit controversial, but we did use a breathing monitor and we still do use one. He's seven months old now and we still use it. It is the Snooza. A lot of people use the Outlet. There were a few reasons we didn't. One of them was I felt like it almost gave me too much information where I would like really, really become focused on it. And I didn't want to become fixated on one thing and worry about it if like one little thing was just like a tiny bit out of whack. And this was also just really simple. All it is is it clips onto his diaper. So it's super simple and I don't know, we really like it. We've had very few false alarms with it and when we did it was just that it like fell off of him. So highly recommend it. There's the Snooze a Hero and the Snooze a Go. We use the Snooze a Go because I wanted to be notified if he stopped breathing right away. Whereas the Snooze a Hero, it will like vibrate and try and rouse the baby first and then it notifies you. So I use the Snooze a Go, but I think the Snooze a Hero is actually the more popular one. If you're looking for a good baby toy, this is hands down the one product I would recommend for zero to three months. It's the well, Easton, that is my son. Um, it's the black and white book, and it's so good. My son was very good with tummy time, and I think this is why. So this book folds out like this. It has two sides, and you just lay it on the floor, and he would stare at this forever laying on his tummy. So he was awesome at tummy time compared to most babies his age. I think it was because of this book. Somebody was getting antsy, so I had to go get them. Next thing I would say is swaddle blankets. Um, this one is from, I think, the Little Unicorn brand. Yeah, Little Unicorn. I know Aiden and Anais make really good ones, or Cloud Island, also really good ones. I didn't really use these for swaddling. I used them for spit up, like covering him up during the day, laying down on the floor for tummy time, just like any other thing, but I didn't really swaddle with them, although they do work good for swaddling, but I just kind of used them for other things, and they're so, so soft, and he loves them to this day. So kind of on the same lines as the changing pad covers, you're going to need a stain remover because babies are messy, they poop, they spit up, and it's just everywhere. So I like the draft one. This works really good. I spray it on, and usually it will take the stain out, but if this isn't doing the trick, then I bust out the Caldrea stain remover. This is from Grove Collaborative and it works really good. It's a gel. I squirt it on there, let it sit, scrub it, throw it in the wash, and it's good to go. For diapers, we primarily use the Pampers Swaddlers. We did sometimes use the Honest Company ones, but I think I prefer the Pampers Swaddlers, but we eventually switched to the Target brand diapers around four months. If you have a winter baby, to me this is a huge essential, like where we live it's cold. So we used this Skip Hop car seat cover, I love it, and I'll be using it this winter again. It's fleece lined, really like durable material, and it fit over our car seat super super well. We use the Bridax travel system and it fits over that car seat perfectly. A couple more must-haves that I don't have with me would be the Rock and Play by Fisher Price. I think everybody mentions this, but it really is awesome. He did not sleep in it at night, nor are babies supposed to sleep in it at night. They're supposed to only use it for like supervised sleeping. So I used it during the day for naps and I loved it for that. He napped so well, he felt like he was being held. Um, it, it, I, there's nothing else to say other than it really is just awesome like everyone says. <laughs> One last furniture item that I would say was really crucial for me was my changing table. Now I had a c-section so having something at like my level was really really important. I actually had a changing table upstairs in his nursery um, and we got the one that like goes on the dresser and then for downstairs, we had a pack and play down there for naps and whatnot. And then that had a changing table attached to it. 
so we actually had two changing tables and seriously post c-section that was awesome so some people don't think changing tables are a necessity I personally really like mine that is it for all of our newborn essentials I will probably be doing a three to six month essentials because they definitely took a shift after he was a little bit older so that is it thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit that bell notification if you want to be notified of new videos that I make and like this video and comment down below let me know your favorite newborn essential item I will see you guys in my next one bye